looks like yesterday Google had launched a new upgrade to their Gemini model with the introduction of a new upgraded Gemini 2.5 Pro 0605 update with enhanced capabilities in coding, reasoning, science, and mathematics. What's crazy is the fact that they just released an update exactly one month ago at the Google I.O. developer conference in May, and now we already have a new upgraded model after one single month. Now, the latest 2.5 Pro reflects a 24-point ELO score jump on Ella Marina, which is maintaining its lead on the leaderboard at 1470, and it has a 35-point ELO jump to the lead on Web Dev Arena at 1443. It continues to excel at coding, leading on difficult benchmarks like Adair Polygot. This is something that also has improved greatly on its styling and structure, so it is more creative with formatted responses. Now, in regards to its benchmark scores, you can see that the Gemini 2.5 Pro is definitely greatly more improved in terms of all of its capabilities in comparison to its previous model, but obviously against many of these other proprietary models like OpenAI's O3, O4 Mini, Cloud4 Opus, Rock3 Beta, and the new upgraded DeepSeq R1. You can see in almost every benchmark, it is either beating all these models or closely up against to it. Now, one small change that you can see is that in terms of its code generation, it is a bit better in the Aider Polygot benchmark than in comparison to Cloud4 Opus, which is great. And in terms of its agenda capabilities, though, it is slightly behind many of these other models, including the Opus 4 by approximately 10 points, which is a pretty big difference. Now, in terms of the input price and the output price, the Gemini 2.5 Pro is listed at $1.25 for 1 million input tokens with no caching. And for 1 million output tokens, it's listed at $10, which is definitely greatly cheaper than the other models, but not as cheap as the DeepSeq R1. So if you want, it has now rolled into Google's Gemini app so you can access the model or you can start chatting with it within the Google AI Studio. You can also get the API for it right away and readily access it via API. It's also available through Vertex AI if you want to use it. But before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Kittle. Kittle is a powerful browser-based design platform that helps creators make stunning print-ready designs fast. Whether you're designing for apparel, POD, or digital products, it's packed with everything you need from 1200 plus fonts to photo mockups and textures, all under one subscription. And now it just got a huge upgrade. Kittle's all new vector editing suite brings pro level design tools into an intuitive interface so you can finally edit curves, hats, and layers like a pro without Adobe headaches. Even better, with Kittle Teams, you can collaborate with your team or client in real time, give feedback, tweak designs together, and stay in sync from anywhere. Hit the link below to try out the new features. And if you're a new user, use the code in the description below at checkout to get 25% off your first month or year. That's Kittle. Create, collaborate, and design smarter. Now, in terms of its long context and coding capabilities, this model has definitely taken a huge leap forward. It was capable of creating this 3D DNA model with 3.js and it is getting insanely good at output and shows how far its reasoning, structured code generation and creativity in terms of formatting has come. In this case, it did an excellent job in creating this visual for this logic of a DNA and it handles different sorts of prompts pretty good in comparison to its last update, which was released a month ago. Now, say if you want to get a free API, you can try using it with Kilo code and they actually offer a Gemini 2.5 Pro API key with $100 in free tokens. This is where you also have the ability to get 20 free credits from them. You also have the ability to access through the Questy API provider. So you have two different options to get a free API to get started. This is for the people who do not have the resources to actually use an API or pay for an API. So let's get started by starting off with a SaaS lining page. And we're trying to see how well it is in terms of its front end capabilities, as well as how creative it is with this additional section in the prompt where I'm asking it to add as many features. And you can see right away, it is working on creating our SaaS lining page. So let's see what it actually ends up building for us. And there we go. We have the SaaS lining page. This is a pretty good looking front end 
for our app. You have the main placeholder for the image, and then we have the powerful feature section, uh, all the testimonials, the pricing page, and you can see did a pretty good job in generating this and added as many features as possible to make it better. But what we're gonna do is go back into the Gemini uh, app, and we're gonna ask it, can you please add a background animation to the landing page and let's see how well it is in taking in this prompt adding in that animation for us and just like that they have now added this background animation which looks awesome so you can see that it's able to take these prompts in pretty quickly and it did a great job in creating this front end for us and this is just something i did for fun where i created this retro rpg adventure game and you can see that there is a way for you to have a storyline built within the game to interact with and then you can go through all the objectives which doesn't look super great but you can see it's something small that i had coded out in a single prompt and you can see there's the ability to attack this goblin over here but you can see how amazing the quality of output is for this model next up we're going to test the model in creating a butterfly in svg code let's see what it's capable of outputting over here and there we go. This is the butterfly that we have gotten in SVG by the Gemini 2.5 Pro. This is definitely something that is a bit more artistic than the other models, which is great. The formation of the butterfly is nice, and you can see that it did a pretty decent job for it. So I would definitely give this a pass. Now, what we're going to do is create an SVG-based data visualizer. And this is something that animates transitions when data actually changes from the JSON file. So it's gonna work on creating animated bars, lines, and pie slices smoothly. We're trying to see how well it is in terms of visualizing the data in SVG, as well as how well it is in taking in my prompt for this. And there we go. Just like that, we have an SVG data visualizer. So you can see the bar chart that will display our data, the line chart, the pie chart. You have uh, the data set one that you can load in, data set two, and data set three within the actual folder, but you can see it did a decent job in taking in this task and completing it. Now, what I'm gonna do next is create a React-based chatbot UI with typing indicators, message streaming, and markdown format support. This is where I'm also gonna have it powered by my API key, where it's gonna be powered by the OpenAI model. And there we go. You can see that it uses the OpenAI API key to stream answers, and there we go. We have our chatbot fully generated. This is a React app where it has the ability to change the themes and you also have it so that you can stream any sort of messages, which is also great. So this is something that it was able to generate within a couple of prompts and it did it pretty good in terms of the amount of tokens it spent. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. And that's basically it guys for today's video on the Gemini 2.5 Pro. It is something that hosts the 1 million context window over other models like Claude 4, which is where this model would shine to work with large code bases and now due to its improved capabilities in coding it could be something that you would want to use for your code base now it is slightly behind claude 4 in my opinion in overall coding capabilities with agentic capabilities on the sway bench verify test but it is still something that does great in comparison to that model it might not have the same agentic capabilities but it is greatly cheaper than the claude 4 models as well as many of the other open AI models except the O4 Mini, but it doesn't deliver the same performance as the Gemini 2.5 Pro. But overall, regardless of coding, it does exceptional with math, science, as well as reasoning. So this is definitely a new great all-round model that you can get started with. And with structured output and better creativity, it is something that would shine, especially with multimodal support over the other models. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the link in the description below. I've given you free ways to get started. So this is a great way for you to easily use these different resources to get started and access this model. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel because there is a lot of content over here. Join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. 
But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.